Hello, my name is Pat Mullins, and I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of Autodesk 360 Web Service Green Building Studio. So what is Green Building Studio? It's a cloud-based cloud -based whole building analysis service. It determines energy usage and your building's footprint, carbon footprint, amongst other things. So let's run you through a typical workflow. First thing we'll do using Revit is to place down spaces within each room, export as a GBXML file. We then log on to the Autodesk 360 web service, gain access to Green Building Studio, create a new project, set up project defaults, set up utility information, and then upload the previously, previously created GBXML file. Having done the analysis, then we view the results. So what I'd like to do now is to give you a quick demonstration of that. Here we are within Revit. First thing we'll do, under the Analysis tab, Area and Volume Computations, just check that Area and Volumes is set as opposed to just Areas, and then use the Space tool. And then as you hover over the perimeter of each room, a space will be created automatically. When we then subsequently come on to the export tool, we can export directly a GBXML file. We're given a preview that allows us to better understand the spaces that we've created with the ability to set up the properties for the spaces. We also get, if, uh, if we wish, to have a, a detailed analysis of each individual space. Having created the GBXML file, then we gain access to the to the web service. We can do this either directly within the uh, the application. Here we can just go directly to um, Autodesk 360, or you can gain access via your web browser. In this case, here I'm at the front page for 360. Here we have the opportunity to gain access to the Green Building Studio product. So, as previously stated, the first thing is to create a brand new project. We determine a name, determine the building's type, and its occupancy. This is just a test as opposed to a live project. So step two of the wizard is to determine where we are in the world, where we're located. We can adjust our location if we wish. But here in Southampton will do fine. And then we just check the details. So location is fine. Here we're presently located in Casablanca. So we can update the time. Currency is in pounds sterling, and we can update to the nearest weather station. The weather station this currently has is fine. Continue. We're then invited to confirm that we're authorized to share this information, which I am, and then continue to create the project. And then we're prompted. First of all, to go to the project defaults. Here we have a series of tabs, which we can run through specifying the default properties for our project. Click on my project to take us back. Here is the demo that we just created. We're also then, having set up the project defaults, we're also then in case, uh, invited to look at the utility information. So here we can set up a price for the electricity costs. And then update. Back to my projects. Having set up the defaults and the utility information, we're then invited to upload the previously created GBXML file. 
here on the Actions drop-down, we have the opportunity to specify our file. So here's the one that we created previously. Upload. We get a real-time preview. So then within a very short time, the analysis is done for us. We have a summary of the analysis here. And if we pick on the actual XML file for the project, we get a more detailed run through of the analysis. If we run through these tabs here, here is the information, the base run, water usage, photovoltaic analysis, etc. In a following demonstration, we'll run through the opportunity to define design alternatives. But within a, a very short time scale, you can get a, a detailed analysis of your building's carbon footprint and energy usage, you know, energy usage. Very simple, very nice to use.